Hello Hendrickson and welcome to our topic lesson for today. Now today's lesson is another outdoors lesson so you can do it on your walk that you do with your families. So our new subject in topic is all about mini beasts. Mini beasts. Now mini beasts are a type of animal and the word mini means really really small. So what we're going to do today is we are going to see if we can find where we think they might live, which is also called their habitat. Habitat. Fantastic. Now, do you think a teeny tiny creature would live in a big field like this? No, I don't think so. But what I do know is that just at the back of the field over there is a little path. I'm going to see if we can find any more interesting spots over there. I'll see you there in a second. Now that I'm on my way to the path, it looks a lot more promising. But what I'd like you to do is I would like you to think about what creatures you think are mini beasts. The so most of them are about this small. What do you think? We find them in the ground. Oh, that's one. We could have some ants, couldn't we? Or we could have some things that fly, like butterflies. We could have woodlouse and grasshoppers and ladybirds. Now let's see if we can find somewhere where they might live. Now, this is a lot better. We're on the path now. now. Even though the trees don't have any leaves, this seems like the perfect place we might find some mini beasts. Now, we won't find them up here. We're gonna find them down on the ground. They like a place that's a bit damp, a bit wet, and to be dark as well. So, I think I have found the perfect place just down here. Can you see I found a log. Now underneath that log we've got some mud and some dirt and I think this is the perfect place where some mini beasts might live. Have a look. There we go. There's lots of little bits of where we might find some of the mini beasts. Now at the moment I can't actually see any mini beasts. It's a little bit too wet at the moment and also they're not really too happy to come out. So what we're going to do is we are going to mark where this habitat is on the path so that we know for next time. As I said, we're going to mark where this habitat is so that we know for next time. So what I've done is I've got a couple of sticks and I'm going to put them on the floor to make an X marks the spot. To mark where my habitat is, just off the path, I have put two sticks to make an X marks the spot. So that when I'm walking down the path the next time, I can see that and I go, aha, there's my habitat. So what I'd like you to do is, I would like you to go out on a walk with your family and see if you can spot anywhere that might be good for some mini beasts to live. You're gonna find out more about what mini beasts are tomorrow and I would like you when you think you found somewhere for a teeny tiny creature to live I would like you to mark it with an X marks the spot or something similar so that you know for next time and then I'd like you to think what mini beast do you think might live there what do you think might live there those are your challenges don't forget to put them on tapestry when you're done